Yo, guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today, we're going to be revisiting a Silvali metal deck here in 2019. Yes, we're going to be taking a look at this old archetype. Before we get the video, I do have a couple things to say. One, PDCGO is pretty glitchy right now. Um, I talked about this in my Rampartos video, how I do feel like there has been a disconnect recently from the PCGO devs and the community. And with all these weird glitches that have been happening, um, basically, when you load a game, you find a match, the game loads, and then doesn't load, and then you're stuck on the screen with just a blank playmat, and that happened to me twice in a row yesterday, my video, hopefully it doesn't happen again, it's been happening to a lot of people, if it does happen, I'm going to be really annoyed, because, it, come on, I don't know, maybe the devs are on holiday, you know, to be fair, you know, it's fine enough, but I do hope we get something, and we hear something about all these weird glitches that have been going on, and I hope we get more feedback from the devs, you know, I just feel like there has been disconnect recently between the devs and the community. Um, so I really hope that changes. I still want that to change because I feel like the game needs to have, you know, a more active developer team right now that can, you know, just tell us what's going on. Anyways, also, my other thing I want to say, my next video is going to be, I'm going to be ranking all of the GXs from Sun and Moon Base to Lost Thunder. That's my next video that's going to go up. I already recorded it. I'm excited to upload the video. I'm also nervous about, I guess, how the video will do. But I am excited to upload the video. It took a while to make because I had to organize all the Pokemon. Without further ado now, let's just get into the Silvali video. So Silvali Metals has been an archetype we've seen before for Silvali. It has not seen play in a while, uh, mainly because we've gotten stuff like Magnezone now. But one of the other big reasons is because we lost cards like Max Elixir, which really did help this deck out a lot. We don't have that anymore. But Silvali Metals, we're going to be revisiting because there's a lot of benefits, I think, to having this type of archetype at your disposal. So Silvali is a colorless Pokemon. Um, it's got two attacks, both of which are really good. Turbo Drive is 120, a touch based energy card from your discard pile, the one of the red Pokemon. And then we have Rebel GX, which is the same as Dangerous Rogue. Really good GX attack, forcing your opponent to be like, oh, I don't want to bench anything, sort of get knocked out. And we have Gyro Unit giving all of your base Pokemon a free retreat cost and giving all these nice big fat metal Pokemon free retreat is always good. And um, another thing with Silvali is you can change its type. So you can change it to Fighting type, which one shots is a Wark GX, which is very good. Then we change it to Fire type, which I really like because it allows you to one shot. Um, uh, what's his face? Decidueyes. That's really about it for that. I mean, other metal types, I guess. There is obviously the other memory cards here. Uh, Lightning memory isn't that great. Uh, Obviously, Psychic Memory is okay. If you want to run one of these, be my guess. It's good for Buzzwell, I guess. So, yeah. Now, the benefits of playing the Metal types is that Metal does allow you to one-shot Gardevoir Ninetales pretty easily. And um, it's one of the best parts of playing these Metal types. Ninetales is very popular right now. Gardevoir is also one of the top decks right now. So, having type advantage against them is really, really powerful. Stuff like Registeel can like one-shot the Vulpixes and the Rawls and stuff like that. Um, one of the reasons why I'm actually playing Celesteela's over like multiple dust mains and even like something like Stack Attacka is because Celesteela attacks a lot easier for this type of a deck. I also like it because it's not weak to fire one of the biggest problems if you're going to be playing the fire. Um, if you're going to be playing dust main, it's weak to fire, so Bocephalon will have a field day with you. Celesteela is not weak to fire, it's weak to lightning. Lightning is not that popular right now. You're only going to run into like a few Coco, Zeroras, and Vika Volts. Cell Steel also has a lot more HP. I just like it, and it has a fighting resistance, so it's a bit more of a tankier card, which is why I prefer having multiple Cell Steelers over, like, multiple Dust Mains or, like, a Stack Attack, or even, like, something now, like, Genesect GX, which we just got. Um, so, yeah, that is that. Now we go into the other Metal-type attackers. I am playing, of course, one Dust Main. It's just a really good one-shot to have. It's good to still have a one-shotter in this deck. Two Ready Steels, nice alternative to build up your board, but... One of the reasons why I love Registeel, it's a great starter Pokemon, but it's also really good with Turbo Arm, allowing you to one-shot Rolls and Vulpixes. I'm playing the one Prism Star Silvaleo, another really good way to build up energy, and a nice non-GX attacker. And I'm also going to be playing the one Dust Shot Necrozma. Sadly, Dust Shot does not do weakness, but it's still a nice attack if you combo that with um, Turbo Drive. It does allow you to one-shot those 180 HP Pokemon like Rayquaza and stuff like that, so it's really relevant. Finish something off. We also have Rusty Claws. I am playing one Oranguru for Instruct. Two Leles. I did pull a Rainbow Rare Lele out of a Guardians Rising pack on New Year's Eve, which was pretty hype, so that was nice. Um, some other tech cards I'm going to go into. I don't hate the idea of having like a Deoxys or something. 
if you are scared of, you know, Buzzwool. Obviously, there are a lot of other metals you can play. You can play Genesec GX. Obviously, you can run Stack Attacka GX if you want. So those are other options. I doubt Scizor would work. Now we're going to the items and supporters. Two Acro Bikes, nice way to thin through the deck, get some energy going in the discard. I am playing two B-Strings. Since we don't have Max Luxe here anymore, we are going to try out B-String instead. A little bit worse because you have to wait to play it, but we can use it to build up Stealth Seals and Dust Mains. Three Nest Balls to be able to put stuff under bench. We got one Pal Pad. This deck used to be better with Bridget, by the way, but Bridget's no longer in the format. Uh, one Pal Pad to get our supporters back. One Stretcher to get our Pokemon back. Four Ultra Balls, search for our Pokemon. One Mount Coronet. I've chosen a Stadium. Um, I feel like we do need a stadium in this deck, just one would be good enough to counter stuff like Life Force or whatever. Uh, but Mount Coronet is really nice to get that extra metal back, I don't know. One Ace Rolla, uh, really nice to just recover, scoop your Pokemon up. Four Cynthia's for draw, three Lilies for draw, one Sightseer. Sometimes it is better to put energy in the discard pile, so that's why we are playing the Sightseer. Two Choice Bands, two Fighting Memories, and one Fire Memory to round out the memory cards. I wouldn't hate the idea, though, of swapping out a, a fire memory for a choice band. I don't hate that. It is kind of nice to do that, so if you want to, you know, if you want to run the third choice band, be my guest. I don't know, though. I mean, I'm wavering changing this, not gonna lie. Actually, I don't know if we need this. Like, Decidueye is pretty relevant, um, and it is a little bit harder to deal with, but I don't know. Like, Decidueye will already run Nine Tails and Zork, which are more easier to... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We don't need fire memory. We're going to play the third choice man. It's actually better for Rocket Fall, I think, for dealing with Guardian Nine Tails. So screw it. Changing the rules. We're going to add a third choice man. I don't like changing decks in the middle of deck explanations, but we're going to do it because, you know, if we're playing against ZDT, Zoark and Nine Tails are pretty easy to deal with, so it's like whatever. We can get around the Decidueye. So I don't know. I think we'll be okay. Uh, so let's go find some games with this deck on PC Joe. Let's check it out in action and hope that our game doesn't glitch. All right, guys. Let's go do some games with the decks. Hopefully the game doesn't glitch. I haven't played since the game actually ended up glitching so we'll have to see should be okay though hopefully we get some good matchups or something i don't know just wait to find a game hopefully we'll be good all right here we go hopped into the match all right we're up against an all psychic deck interesting some of my metal attackers are resistant to psychic that's nice and the game loaded hooray i don't know maybe they did fix it but they didn't update on the subreddit uh we're not winning the coin flip though i don't like losing coin flips with this deck because it is a bit of a slower deck um a lot of the attackers need two energy that's kind of why it's nice to start with like something like ready steel and then get energy in the discard build up multiple attackers all right we got the dust mange start not a bad hand at all i do like it actually dust mange is a good starter we can do either dust shot or just use it as cannon fodder depends what we're up against looks like we're up against malamar which is fine. I think Malamar we can beat. We have enough um, juice to deal with it, I think. The only, the hardest part about Malamar might honestly just be um, like a big one-shot attacker. I don't know, like Necrozma. Psychic Memory would be good, but I'm assuming he's playing a heavier count of Dawn Wings. So, don't know to be honest with you. Do not know. But, you know, I'm feeling okay about this matchup. He does start with Dawn Wings. It might actually be good to do an early dust shot because then we build up Silvali, Turbo Drive one shots him. I don't know. Rebel's going to be really good in this matchup because of the fact that Malmar always fills their bench up. So we'll see. All right. we My opponent will um, be taking a while. We also have access to Blaster though. So we have a lot of GX attacks here. It's one of the nice things about playing this deck. You have so many GX attacks. There's a Silvali. All right. We'll bench the Ranguru. And we'll do just in case. Okay. So it looks like he's just playing a toolbox of Psychic Attack. Mewtwo might be tough. It actually has a decent amount of HP. I don't know if I want to dust shot it. I might. I don't know. I might just try and use the time to get a Silvali built up. Really wish I had Psychic Memory though, but I was not expecting our first game to be against a like a Psychic Malamar deck. But if they bench enough Pokemon, we'll just they probably don't expect me playing Savali. So if they bench two more Inkays or something, this Mewtwo is going down next turn. They bench a Sigilyph. Okay, that's fine. We have answers to it. And they're going to pass. Right. So what do we draw? We drew an Ultra Ball. Pretty good time to get rid of an Energy, I think. And either Guzma or Celesteela. 
These guys all have two retreat. Um, I could just get rid of the Guzman energy. Um, let's just get rid of self healer. I don't know if I'm gonna need it in this matchup, to be quite honest. I'd rather just do Lily here and just grab the Type Null. We'll do a nice big Lily. We don't really need. I mean, both those cards we can always get back with Stretcher and Palpad, which are both in the deck. Just better do Lily here. Alright, what do we draw? Okay, we got Acro Bike. See what we find. Take the Nest Ball. Put another thing on our bench. What do we need? Honestly, ready to steal. Ooh, I think we ooh, we priced the other uh, Cell Stila and the other Dustmate. And the Dustmate. GX, anyways. I think I just pass. He's playing Malamar. He's gonna have to bench an NK here. I'm feeling pretty safe, too. I don't think he'll knock me out. Oh, yeah. If anything, he's only gonna do 40 damage to me. We can always save Dustmane for, like, the, uh, Sigil. If we also have a Ranguru and Ready Steel for it. Maybe I didn't need an S Ball for Ready Steel, but I think we're safe. I don't know if I need another Savali right now. Side Strike can't even one shot me. Okay, he's gonna bench another Pokemon, which means we will get the Rebel Knockout. I was kind of worried about Side Strike there, not gonna lie. Like, oh, if he doesn't bench something, I actually don't know if it's a good idea to do Side Strike. It might be better to, like, hit him with, like, Turbo Arm or something. But he did bench something, so that's all we need. He might judge me here, though. No, he's not. Okay, good. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of worried about a judge there, but he's going for Cynthia. No Inkays on the bench, though, which is also a nice sight to see. Let's see if he puts an Inkay down now. I mean, he does have, I guess, Lunala. He's got a Nest Ball for... It's either going for Dawn Wings or an Inkay, I'm calling it. It's going for Inkay. Right. He's not going to do much damage to me here. He's going to do 40, which is fine. Will live. And a nice big GX tech will knock him out. Um, I think I will do Palpad. I might need Guzman this matchup. I'm assuming he's gonna go full moon star here. So I'm gonna hold I'm gonna hold things and just let just gonna hold the Ultra Ball actually. Not gonna bench anything. So I might Ultra Ball here for Guzma, and I'm going to try and Guzma. Probably get rid of Type Null and something else. And then we'll uh, Guzma, and then probably bring out the Mewtwo and just try and attack it. Get some early damage on it. Oh, he's not bringing out Lunal. He's going to bring out Sigilyph, which is kind of surprising, because I'll just uh, retreat into Dustmane, Chest Choice Band, and attack him. Or hit the Mewtwo. Sigilyph I'm not too scared of. It's pretty easy to deal with. We have a lot of ways to take it out. Mewtwo is a huge threat in my opinion. I think Mewtwo is going to be the bigger threat. So I strike I think goes through anything, right? Yeah, so this thing goes through resistance. So this thing will one-shot my Celesteela and Dustmane fairly easily. It's one of the things Mewtwo struggles with is one-shotting my guys. But that won't happen. So it's probably best to try and get damage on Mewtwo. I don't want to go insane on the benches, but whatever, I think we'll be okay. I could actually trap the Malamar and then start just doing Dust Shot. I don't know. I kind of want to get 90 damage on it, though, but it might be better to... Okay, we just topped that Guzma casually. That's really good. All right, we will bring out the Malamar. And we'll just do Dust Shot. Hit that Mewtwo. Soften that up. And, um... Next turn, we'll knock it out with Turbo Drive, I think. Seems like a good idea. Hopefully Malamar's trapped. He is playing Altar of the Moon, I guess. He might Guzma me here. I mean, he can't knock out Savali, though, if he doesn't have a Choice Band. He has Guzma. Shoot, does he have a Choice Band? Oh, 
those you have choice bean. Got three cards. We'll find out. He didn't even attack me. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm just gonna put Celestia down. I, yeah, he's gonna scoop. Whatever. I was gonna say, let's put Celestia down or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, well, that game's over. And, wow, my opponent was only playing Mewtwo and just Sigilith. Not even that many Psychic Attackers, so... That's fine. We did get a Forbidden Light Pack out of that, which is pretty good. And we're gonna get two chests, so... We got something to open up there. We showed off why I like that Dust Mane, though. The Dust Mane could've came in handy. Um, you know. If he didn't have the Knockout, he could've, I guess, Super Absorption me, and I wouldn't... He actually would have survived, I think, even with the Choice Band Turbo Drive, so that could have been an option for him. We'll open up the chest first before we open up Forbidden Light. We got 10 coins, alright, we'll open up this next chest. 10 more coins, better than getting 5. And we will open up this Forbidden Light pack. Alright, here we go, let's pull like a full art alternate Krosma. That'd be pretty good. I heard some talk about an alternate Krosma steal its deck. So I might, I might look at that, I don't know. Yeah, pretty bad pack. We got nothing out of that. Alright, we will do another game with the deck. Alright guys, let's go do some more games with our deck here. Hopefully we get a nice matchup in. And hopefully the game doesn't glitch, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. But I am liking the deck. Not gonna lie, that was a nice game we got against the Mewtwo deck. Not a very, you know, long game, but I thought it was fine enough. Mewtwo is, I think, a bit of a challenge, to be honest. Its HP is pretty insane. And we'll see here, what do we play against? Okay, looks like Zork Lycanroc, alright. A matchup that I'm somewhat okay with. Lycanroc isn't that hard um, to deal with, but it Lycanroc might pose a threat because we are weak to fighting. Um, if it was like Zork, like, I guess any other Zork deck that wasn't Lycanroc, we might have been a little, a little bit better off. So this might be a bit of a tougher matchup for us. Might be a bit of a tougher matchup for us because we are weak to fighting. So Lycanroc is going to be a bit of an issue, I think. Like, we can deal with Zoark fairly easily, but it's going to be a bit tougher to deal with the Lycanroc, so yeah. Oh my gosh, it isn't. It's Zoark Crabominable. That's interesting. Alright, that was a decent draw. We drew Lily. Um, I think we get rid of the energy. Start putting things in the discard pile now. Lele, you can also go. We'll get a Metal Attacker. Get Celesteela. Because Crabominable does have a big retreat cost. Let's go Lily. Nice, we got the energy. Acrobike. Um, probably Nest Ball. We can always Pal Pad back. The Lily and the Guzma, and we'll nest ball for probably Oranguru. Ready to steal Oranguru is gonna be my choice, but I'm gonna go with Oranguru. But yeah, Cell Steel is a great attacker here because it's resistant to fighting and does a lot of damage to Crabominable. And um, yeah, that's really all I had to say about that. We'll see if he gets a knockout. He didn't do anything last turn, so I don't know what's going on. I'm assuming my opponent is playing Zoark though, so we do have to be ready for Sovali, obviously. Sovali is still going to be needing this matchup, despite the fact that it is weak to fighting, we still might need it for Zoark. I don't know if we can win the game without attacking with Sovali. He's actually... okay, I was going to say, he wasn't knocking me out, but I'm like, this is... I'm like, I thought that was a Sovali and not a Techno. But it is good to know that he might not even one-shot me half the time. It is a little risky bringing this guy up, especially if I don't hit what I'm looking for. If I don't hit DC here, this could be really bad. Nice, nice, nice. Just barely. We'll just hit him nice and hard. And boom. Knock him out. 
You can also run Delmize in this deck. Forgot to say Delmize could be another decent option if you want to run one of those. Some energy. I didn't play this volley down either, by the way, so like it doesn't get Guzman or something, but I don't think it matters. Like even if he benches a Buzzle here, Sledgehammer's not gonna do much. We can knock out Diancy, I think. Right? Yeah, he's got four retreats, so like Celesteel is gonna be our answer to these things. Kakui. I mean we should win this turn if it doesn't bench anything. Even if he does, I'll probably just do Lele for Guzma. Yeah, he's just gonna scoop. Alright. Celesteela showing off why it's a beast. Literally. It literally is a beast because it's an ultra beast. See what I did there? Alright, let's do another game. Hopefully we get some longer matches though. I don't know what it is recently, but these games have not been very long. And oh my gosh. Okay, I thought that was gonna be a big boo for a deck. deck for a sec, but it ain't. This could be Sceptile. We'll see. We are gonna win the coin flip, which is nice. We'll see if it's gonna be a Sceptile deck or not. See what we start with. Alright, we got the Reggie Steel start, which I do like. I actually do really like this hand. The Reggie Steel start's pretty good. Slowly build up energy. We can do a nice turn with Lily, you know, get rid of some stuff we don't want, like fighting memory I don't think we'll need. Shuckle, okay. Interesting. I think we're playing against a uh Executor deck. It's my best guess. Since we just pulled Rainbow Rare Lele, we're gonna grab this. Let's see if we prize, so. We got Sogaleo Prism, we got both Dustbane, we got our Cell Steelers, we got all our Savalis, we got all the Technols. Hmm. Couple supporters prized. Got all our DCs, and we got two metal energy, or one metal energy prize. Not too bad. I'm just gonna play that on Cell Steela, I guess. I mean, maybe not a matter. I don't know. We have our other choice man, you can always attach them. This is kind of where Fire Memory would be good, but I don't know. Like, it was like, oh, will you play it? Yeah, I guess. Whatever. Sure, we'll put you down. Um, I was like, okay, are we gonna play against any, um... Are we gonna play against any Titan Elves? But I doubt it. So it's like, I didn't really wanna... I didn't really wanna play down the, um, Fire Memory, but... I forgot about Sceptile and stuff like that. I forgot Sceptile and Zaytor were a thing. Might as well just build up Silvali. Could've attached the Metal Energy instead of the DC. Whatever. I, I'm not expecting Enhanced Hammer here. To get rid of that choice band, that's fine. We'll see if they judge me or not. Nope, it's gonna do Lily. Ditto going down. There's another Shuckle. I don't know, two Shuckles. Maybe this is an Executor, I don't know. I mean, the Ditto is a giveaway, which we can knock that thing out, I think. We can get Lily for Guzma, right? Yeah, it is Executor. Does he get an Execute down here? No, he doesn't. Just an Energy Drink, which I don't even know if my opponent wants to play. We'll see where they put this Energy, actually. Dang it, they're putting on Ditto. Are they going to put both on the Ditto? Okay, good. I was going to say, because we're going to knock out the Ditto and not this, because they could put the Energy on the Pokemon that we were going to target. We just top deck Lele. Now I don't have to do Ultra Ball, which is pretty good. Just Lele, Guzma, knock out Ditto. Zekitor, I think Zekitor is a bit of a fatter Pokemon too. It forms a retreat. Uh, we'll do this. Maybe get an energy in the discard. Beast Trainer, so Bali. We have Stretcher in our hand. We'll be fine. I want to keep the Beast Trainer. Okay, we'll just Turbo Drive not so. Probably just put the Metal Energy on Celesteela, I guess. We can also use uh, Celesteela's Moon Press can do nice damage too. We'll see. He's gonna bench the Execute finally. We're not gonna be able to Guzma him again. We only have one in the deck. The other one's prized. And he scoops! Another quick game, guys. Don't know what to say. That everyone's just conceding uh, from this deck. I didn't think this deck was that strong, but it's making everyone concede before we can actually play out a real game, so we'll have to find out if we get another quick game or not. But I guess that's the strength of the Sovali Metal deck. I mean, in 2019, the deck has some clout. But a matchup like that is kind of where Fire Memory would be useful. Like, I kind of... I forgot about Septon Rule and Exeggutor. They're not insanely, like, popular, though, but they are relevant. So, like, there's more reason to play Fire Memory, I guess, over the third choice band. I don't know. I mean, if anything, maybe just play three Fighting Memories just to easily deal with Zoark. Nice! I think we got that Guardi matchup, boys. Perfect. Alright, we'll go Tails. 
Hodel. You always let me down. But if we start with Registeel or something, or get like a Guzma Registeel, that'd be pretty good. Hmm. That's fine. Our hand's okay. We can still do Lily here, get some energy in the discard, build up Celesteela. It's a little bit harder for Gardevoir to deal with Celesteela, too. Just a Nest Ball. Oh, it's a Sogaleo deck. Oh, rip. I thought it was Gardevoir. No, Sogaleo's even worse. Sogaleo is a horrible matchup. With the Ganadel, okay. Okay, this is a little bit worse, not gonna lie to you guys. Sogaleo is a lot worse of a matchup for us. Sogaleo's a pretty bad matchup. We do have Rebel, so hopefully he benches a couple more Pokemon. Now I really regret not playing Fire Memory. <laughs> the one time I take Fire Memory out of the deck, we actually end up playing against matchups where it would be actually pretty well. Well, to be fair, if he benches, if he plays the other Sogaleo GX with the ability to get rid of his weakness, I guess it doesn't matter, but... Okay, he actually... Are we not against Sogaleo? Well, I didn't see Metal, I guess, so maybe we're not, okay. Feeling a bit safer. We actually did draw Guzma, so I could actually have gone for like a little ready steel play if he bends the Ralt. Alright, we'll grab Lele. Let's see what we prize. Alright, we got all of our DCs, which is kind of what I really care about. Guess I could have Ultra Ball the Guzma way too, but the energy is better. Alright, we'll do a nice big Lily. Hopefully, we get some Pokemon here looking for Type Nulls. Nice. Yeah, I guess we'll bench you. Nest Ball for the Type Null. I think I'm gonna pass. I like this hand, so I'll just pass. But next turn, we'll probably Ultra Ball and grab, um... Grab Silvali or whatever. Rare Candy. Hi, so it is a Lunala deck. Alright, that's fine. Lunala is a bit easier to deal with. Thankfully... Well, he could Lunar Fall me, but I don't think he's gonna be able to do it this turn. Yeah, he's got no, uh, energy to discard. Interesting concept, though. Lunala with Naganadal. I never thought of that. I mean, I would consider trying that deck out, but I don't know. Lunala's just not very good because of how big Zork is right now. Ooh, we got rid of a max potion. That's what I like to see. Lunala is still a little hard to deal with. I guess Sogaleo would be a bit more fair. Um, the only thing I can really deal with it is Dusty Necros. But we aren't really gonna be able to use it until we have B-String. It's one of the problems with playing Dustmane in here. It's like, you can only use it really when you get B-String because it's harder to build up once you, like, pop off with, like, a Sogaleo Shuckle or Sogaleo or something, or, like, a nice little Ready Steel. I don't know. I think we'll be fine. I think Celsteel is still a good attacker here because Moon Guy's Beam doesn't do... Oh, no. Wow, we're not resisting. Dang it. Never mind. I think Celsteel is fine enough. I might Guzma here, actually, if I can draw into, I don't know, maybe an energy? I might Guzma and just try and get damage on this thing. I don't know. Alright, he's gonna Beacon. Hey, that's the thing, if I knock him out, I'm not really gonna get anywhere. Hmm, maybe it's better to not attack? Okay, we got an Acrobike. Alright, yeah, DC, obviously. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can attack Lunala. I mean, I'd rather this turn to a Ninetales, to be honest with you. So, I think we'll get rid of Nest Ball and this thing. Grab Silvali. The only issue here is my hand is going to be empty. Or I won't have a supporter. But, I don't need this, I guess. Might as well just get damage on him now. Force him to potentially play the, um... Either Lunar Fall, this guy, or, you know, have to max Potion. I'm not hitting him too hard, but we can get enough damage on him to finish him off with, like, even a Choice Band Turbo Drive or, you know, Moon Press or Blaster, right? Yeah, 160 HP. So we would need a Choice Band, but we can always do Blaster. And then we'd have to Ace Roll this guy, because we'll have a lot of energy on him. Assuming I don't get the energy. And then we can do Palpad next turn, too, just in case we don't draw support. And we're going to need to use this guy at the right moment, though. That's for sure. He's going to be really important. Then maybe, yeah, maybe I don't want to use my GX attack, then. Maybe it's better to try and Moon Press him. I don't know. 
Because, yeah, I'd rather save Sons of Cliffs or Lunala. It's the only thing that can one-shot it. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he plays a Nine Tails down at some point, though. Although, I highly doubt it. He's probably expecting me to be playing a Metal Savali deck, considering all the Pokemon I've revealed, you know, Ray Steel and so on, uh, Dustmane, have been Metal Pokemon. But if he ever plays a Nine Tails down, obviously, that's going to be a nice two free prizes we can take when we can't really deal with the Lunala. He actually, ooh, he, he filled his bench up, so... Yeah, we can try and build up Savali in the meanwhile, I guess. But I don't want Celesteela to go down for nothing. He can't do Lunar Fall on GXs, which is good. So maybe, maybe I'd try and like retreat into Dustmane or something? I don't know. This is a little tricky. Kind of wish we had a bit of a better hand. Oh, he's actually retreating. Okay, interesting. He's going to get the Psychic Energy back. Yeah, he probably just figured that was going to knock him out. And he wouldn't have any other Lunalas to go on with. Is he gonna retreat? Is he gonna do dust gathering? Or is he gonna go into Voltix? Probably better for him to go to Voltix. I mean, I don't mind knocking this out either, though. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind knocking this out. The less Nuala is on the board, the better. So we can knock out this thing. Um. I don't want to do that though because yeah, let's just play this there is a slight problem with that though and it is that i won't be able to use my other gx attacks we already have the one shot with Silvali, and Silvali's is not getting one shot anytime soon let's just knock this thing out i think even if we did knock it out i think he would have had another lunala anyways Ooh, ace rolla okay that's good we'll ace roll of the cell steel and knock him out with rebel next turn Seems good. I might regret not taking the KO on this on this Lunala, but I'm okay with it. I can ace roll in my Salt Stila, which is what I like to see. Then we can knock him out with Rebel. He's gonna charge you now. Okay, so he's not gonna ever knock out my Salt Stila this turn unless. There's, he benches a Mewtwo or something, I don't know. There's the Ninetales. So there's two free prizes, hopefully at some point in the game, our win condition, after we deal with this guy. It can be go after Lele and Ninetales, specifically Ninetales, because it's an easy one-shot for us. That's pretty good that he played that down. Ooh, he's getting Max Potion. Crap. Is he going to Max Potion the 90 damage off? Oh, he fills his bench up anyway. Never mind. I mean, fair play to him, because he does need to get another Lunala down, I guess, but that's really good, because now we knock him out with Rebel here. Curious if he's going to be playing any Rainbow Energies, though, for Ninetales, because he could do Sublimation. i got to consider that at some point, if we don't deal with Ninetales soon. He does have Sublimation, which can wipe out um, Dustmane or Celesteela pretty easily. So that is something I guess I have to consider, but it's a good thing he benched that Cosmo, because I don't think I'd have a way to knock him out this turn. With the uh, Sovali, at least. I don't think Ninetales would have gone down either. What do we draw? Type No, might as well bench that. Place Rolla. Evilest Ace Rolla in the world. Might as well play you back down. I think we'll need Celesteela. And we'll knock him out with a big Rebel here. Wiping out not only all the energy on his board, but we got our two prizes. What do we get? We got a Freddy Memory. There's a Cynthia, finally. We go Cynthia. Freddy Memory is pretty useless, but whatever. Let's see if he responds with another Lunala. He does. Okay. Just keeping up the fight. Another Vulpix going down. But again, I think we can win at this point. I mean, especially if he benches another Ninetales. He's going to Goose Mummy. Okay. Yeah, he's kind of stuck right now. I can't knock anything out this turn with Turbo Drive, so I think what we'll do is we'll DCE the Celesteela. We'll retreat, knock out Vulpix with Turbo Drive, keep building the Celesteela up, and then pray to find one last way we can finish off the Ninetales, I guess. Because we will need to knock out Vulpix to kind of even the game up a little bit. Because we have three prizes. 
we'll have to take. So we now got Vulpix. All we need to do is take out Ninetales or Lele to finish this game off. And Ninetales is going to be that answer. And we knock him out with Savali. I like that. Another medal, which should wrap up things from there. I doubt he's playing... Yeah, I doubt he's playing DC. Or, not DC. And here's him. We'll burn this. And we'll turbo drive. Um, the odds he does KO Celesteela, I guess, are not too low. I, I'm not, I would be surprised if he played a Rainbow Energy and the Goose might have finished off my Celesteela, but this should be game here. You just finish him off with Moonpress, which is why I like this build, you know? You prey on these Fairy-type weak Pokemon, because we couldn't actually win the game if he didn't have Ninetales in play this turn. Lele isn't getting knocked out anytime soon by anything right now, so it's pretty good that we do have that nine tails. This is what this deck needs to do. Whoops. It preys on these nine tails. It wants to KO these little nine tails GXs. And that's what this deck is all about. You have the nice big Silvali. You know, think if we were against Zork right now. If you had a Zork in the active, you know, Fighting Memory would be creaming him. That nine tails would be a nice way to just end the game off with Celesteela. So this deck just kind of wants to be playing against decks that are running nine tails and as shown, we were able to find a nine tails game. So we're probably gonna wrap up the video here. Um, we didn't get the longest matches, but I don't know what's going on, man. The past few videos I've recorded, the games have not been very long, but this one is decently long. Shout out and credit to my opponent for keeping up the fight. Alright. Let's see what he does. Does he Moongeist Beam or will he Lunar Fall my Type Null? Doesn't matter what he does, we'll finish the game off with a big Moon Press. Or draw a Choice Band knock him out with uh, Rocket Fall. Alright, just a Lunar Fall. On type null. Okay, that's fine. Surprised he didn't attack me because he two shots me, but that's fine. We'll give him the well played. Shout out to my opponent for sticking around and not conceding early on like the other games, but we'll wrap up the game here with nice big boom press. Boom. There you go. That is what this deck likes to do. It likes to take out these nine tails. This is why I like Celesteel as an attacker more. I was able to, I did more work with Celesteel than I did Dustmane, or even if I wanted to play. Something like Stack Attacka, so that's why I think Celesteela is better as an attacker in this archetype, especially just because it's more bulkier and it's better in those fighting matchups as you saw against Crabominable there. Ooh, we almost had 600 tickets. I didn't even realize that. That's an insane amount of tickets to have and to not spend. I need to do tourneys. I mean, they're a good way to get coins for the next set. Alright, let's uh, open up a pack here and wrap up the video with a nice Lost Thunder pack opening. See what we pull. Hopefully we get, you know, Fuller Down. You know, that'd be great. Kappa. Now we got Scizor and a Vesper. That Scizor is interesting. I might look at that eventually. And I have to do a Vesper video still. I haven't done a Vesper yet. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe down the road to 4K subs. As my New Year's resolution is to hit 6K, but help me in the road to hit 4K. Well, you know, we're still close. Thanks for all the support. On the videos and again my next video is going to be a ranking all gx pokemon from sun and moon all the way to lost thunder it's gonna be a crazy video so yeah hopefully you guys are excited for that video it was a long one to make i'll tell you that right now but yeah thanks for watching today's pvcgo video have a good day guys and yeah peace out and goodbye